guys welcome back to my channel this is Choma stitches and my name is Choma um, I want to welcome all the old subscribers who have been with me from day one I want to say thank you very much for your support I want to welcome all the new subscribers as well you guys are welcome and if you are seeing this channel for the first time I hope you decide to subscribe and join this beautiful family I want to also especially thank those of you who find time to to leave comments in the comment section and to like my videos thank you very very much I appreciate it I hope you continue this friendship um, as long as we can take it so on today's sewing tutorial i'm going to be teaching us how to make a simple two piece that you can just whip up and make in less than two hours and you are off and you'll be looking pink okay so i've had this two fabric lying in this house for a while now and i didn't know what to make with it i wanted to make something really beautiful with it that i am really going to like any time any day that is why I've kept it for so long. But today I just got the idea of what I want to do with it. Both of them are purchased fabric. Look at how shiny it is on this side. On the other side, it's not so shiny, but here it looks it's fabulous. I love it. I'm going to be making the skirt part with this. And if there's any leftover that I can use to make a little short for myself, I might actually go ahead and do that. And if you would like me to film that, let me know in the comment section. And then this is the fabric I'm going to be using for the upper part of the two piece. This is also a duchess fabric, but has flowers, and I love it. It's so beautiful, and they complement each other because the color, the flower has the same color with this, and they are the same texture. So that is how I want to combine them. And this is a matching zipper for the skirt part. This is an elastic band that's going to go for the skirt part as well, just this, the back of the skirt part. This is a bias I'm going to be using for the neckline for the upper part. And I might also end up using the fabric, the pieces of the fabric I'm going to cut out here to do the bias. I'm not sure yet. So, um, but I just have this in case I decide to use this as the bias to conceal the neckline. And then you have your tape rule, your rulers, the chalks, and your matching thread. This one, this thread is going to be going for this, and this is going to be going for this. I couldn't find this exact ash, so I'm going to be using the color that matches the flower to sew it. I have my pins too, because you have to secure this. This fabric needs to be secured properly. It's very slippery. Okay, so this top is going to be a circle top, and for the quantity of fabric I'm working with, this fabric is 1 yard and 20 inches. So it's almost two yards of fabric, okay? One yard and 20 inches of fabric. While the upper, this other one that's going to go in for the skirt is a one yard and 12 inches of fabric. And they are all by 16 in length, okay? So I folded this one into four, but I folded it like on the yard part first and then folded it on the by 60 part, okay? So I can get the longer part on this direction. That's what I did. I wanted to have the longer part on this direction for the sleeve area because the dress is going to have with this come with the sleeve all in one. There's no joining, all right? So that is why I had to keep the longer part on this side and the shorter part on this side. But if your fabric can go as long as you have in both here and here it's being long, that would be perfect. That means you can make a real long gown with it if your fabric can accommodate that. So the full length I'm going to be working with, um, it, so it's going to be as long as 27 inches when I am done. And then the, for the for the length of the side, you can decide to measure from your from the middle of your chest line all the way to your wrist, or more if you want. You can add extra. So I'm using the whole of what I have here from my middle of my neckline to my wrist is about 29, 30 inches. So I have excess. I have more than a um, couple of inches left. Let's see. So I have 32 and a half here. I'm going to be using the whole of 32 and a half. Probably be using like half an inch or one inch for hemming. If my shoulder measurement is 7.5 inches, that's 15 inches. Half of it is 7.5 inches. So I'm going to come down from the top here to where my bust line is. From the shoulder line to my bust line, just so I can know how far I can go down around the armhole. So my bust line is 10.5 inches. I don't know if this which or this chalk will be clearer. So this is my 10.5 inches, my bust. Now, uh, for my armhole, I can choose to use like 8 inches because it's going to be a bit free. So I can come down to say 8.5 inches. My bust measurement is 35 inches. Rather by 4 is 8.75 inches. I can give it a little bit of ease of one in, half an inch for the ease. And then I can come in here by 1 inch or something the sewing allowance and i'm going to mark it so i'm just going to go ahead and connect these two places 
I'm going to just secure it with a pin because of course this fabric moves, right? Now from here, because it's going to be a flare, I'm going to place my tape at the tip here. I'm going to come down to the 27 inches I said the length is going to be, plus my one inch for hemming. So I'm going to start marking it. So I will mark 28 inches and I'll go ahead and mark 28 inches like this. And then from here, from this uh, bust area, I am going to mark this. I'm going to mark this. So you get the idea of how this is going to be. And then for the sleeve, that is almost 33 inches. This is almost 33 inches. I'm going to keep marking it 33 inches here. Now this one has gotten here. So now I'm going to be connecting this from this armhole. I'm going to be connecting it to that part. So this is the part where the sleeve occupies and all the way and this is the body. Now let's mark out the neckline and then we can cut out this upper, upper part. I'm going to use 3.5 inches for the width. And then for the depth, for the back I'm going to use 1 inch for the back depth. While for the front depth, I'm going to come down to like 8 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. I can only cut out the neckline for the back first. And then when I'm done cutting out the bodies, I can cut out the neckline of the front piece, okay? Now, instead of cutting this exactly on the line I've made, I'm going to give it like half of an inch more like a seam allowance addition and I'm going to curve it like this all the way. Now I'm going to open up this part and take, and take out all the things I'm using to hold it down. This is my circle top and the sleeve. So I'm going to be holding down the front piece like so, so I can cut out the neckline. Okay. So an idea just popped into my head on how I can get the neckline with a facing instead of a bias. Okay. So now I'm going to use it to cut out the neckline. Okay, so I can take this out. So this is going to be the facing for the dress. Okay, so I'm going to pin this place, but I'm going to hem here with half of an inch. Okay, so this is the neckline. So I'm going to join here with half of an inch, join here with half of an inch, and then we can use it to, to do the facing for the neckline instead of using the bias method that I wanted to use. So this is going to be better. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out the skirt now. I folded my fabric, so to cut out the skirt, the full length of the skirt I'm working for is 18.5 inches and the band is going to be two inches so i will be taking out the band so what i'm left with is 16.5 inches now i'm going to be adding one inch for hemming the end of the skirt and then half an inch for joining the band to the skirt okay so that will make this 18 inches that i'm cutting out so i'm going to be marking 18 inches now from the two inches band to my hip is about 8.5 inches now, noting that we have a half an inch here, and a half an inch that we're going to be using to add the band to the skirt, I'm going to come down by one and a half inches on this line, and I'm going to indicate my 8.5 inches, which is my hip line. Now, I'm going to impute my hip measurements. Hip 43 inches divided by 4 is going to be 10.75 10 inches. Now, when you add one inch or one and a half inch for sewing allowance, you have this. And then I'm going to come down here. What I have here is about 12.5 inches, almost 12.75 inches. 
I'm going to come here and I'll mark out 11.5. The dress is not going to have a slit. And for my waist area, my waist is 28 inches. My waist for the band is going to be 28 inches. But my waist after the band is 29 inches. Okay, that will be 7.25. Um, and then I'll add the same one and a half inch for the same allowance. I'm going to connect this. As you can see, I did not add any that on the skirt. I'm going to go ahead and cut it out and use this front piece to cut out the back piece. Now, as you can see, I didn't add any, any zip allowance at the back. The only difference between the front and the back is going to be the waistline. The waistline for the back is going to be almost the same line with the hip. So I'm just going to go ahead and rule it and mark it straight. The, waist, the back waistline is going to be bigger than the front waistline and that's because the back waistline is going to be having the elastic band so the elastic is going to be only at the back so i'm going to go ahead and cut this out and now to cut out the band for the skirt i still have a lot of the fabric left for this skirt part I'm going to be using it to make a shot for myself in another tutorial so stay tuned for that and so now I'm going to go ahead and join the band so I'm going to join the band separately obviously so I'm going to be joining the band for the back first so I'm just going to fold it in half and sew it and just go ahead and sew it and the same thing for the front I'm going to be ironing Estee into this first of all. I'm going to iron an Estee to give it a bit of uh, consistency because it's going to be the band. So it doesn't keep sliding and folding in when you wear it. Okay, so you can use a soft stay or a, um, an Estee to do that. I'm going to iron an Estee to it and then I'm going to join it like this. Okay, so I've joined the band. As you can see, look at how smooth this is because I ironed this part. I've not ironed the body. So I added the stay inside and I've attached this one so just so straight and for the back piece I want the back piece to be a little bit more dramatic now this is what I did the band was too much was longer than the waistline that I cut out so I just made little little pleats around it so now I'm going to be attaching the band that I want to put on the back part go ahead and pass the elastic through the band So this is the back. The back is going to be a little bit busy. Now you can go ahead and top stitch the back at the center piece just to give it uh, so it doesn't keep folding in. Okay. And I'm going to do that actually. So I'm going to sew it. I'm going to hold the elastic, stretch it out and make a stitch in the middle of the band. You should do that too. It is going to help to keep your band straight or you can make more than one stitch. You can make it twice. Okay, so uh, that would be nice. I'm going to hem the down part and hem this other down part so I can join the skirt on the side and the skirt will be ready. If you wear it and it feels a little bit uncomfortable, you can give it a little bit of a slit by opening up your seam, maybe two inches up and then locking it properly just to give it an ease for you to walk around. But with the way I cut it, I think it will be okay. All right, and that's why it has to be short because if it's short when it is free, it will be final that, that way for the neckline look at this i've gone ahead to sew this neckline so this is how it looks when you open it and this is how the neckline is going to look so i'm going to open up this neckline and use it to conceal it and this is the bar i have cut out for it so i'm just going to go ahead and sew I'm just going to go ahead and sew this like so, so that I can turn it inside out and the neckline will be neatly concealed. Ok, 
okay so i've gone ahead to sew the neckline and i'm going to put it inside like so of course you are going to iron it and use your hemming gum to keep it in place this is the back waistline and i've run the stitch double line on the waistline and i've hemmed it as you can see this is the front i've also gone ahead to hem the edge and look how this looks so what i'm going to do now is join the sides so after sewing the sides now this is what i did I left an opening so I joined the side to the end and then I oh I left an opening here where the zip is going to fit in so I'm going to go ahead and sew the zipper so this is how it looks the neckline I'm going to iron the neckline so now I'm going to go ahead and join the sides okay so I'm placing this like this so I've pinned it down I'm just going to go ahead and sew it following this and also here like so and then we'll see how it looks I'm going to go ahead and sew this place and then I'll hem the edges and hem all sides and I will try it on and show us how it looks. If at this point guys you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you get notified whenever I drop a new video. Don't forget to like this video and also leave a comment in the comment section. I would definitely love to hear from you guys. See you guys in my next tutorial. Bye bye.